Hi, Ashley from the MISMA here. I'm very, very excited to be making this video for you today because I know it's been a long awaited and it's something that's been requested frequently. And we've just finished our integration with Zapier, which means we can now connect to Receipt Bank. Namisma can connect to Receipt Bank. And whenever you uh, have a receipt on Receipt Bank that's been processed and is ready for publishing, it will be automatically created on the Namisma platform. So in this video, I want to show you exactly how it works. You will need three things. So first of all, you'll need a Namisma account, a Receipt Bank account, and a Zapier account. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So on my screen now, I'm in Namisma. Within Accountant Tools, you can select Nominal Code. And within Receipt Bank, you'll need Namisma's Nominal Codes in order to have all of the transactions match to the Namisma account. In the top right-hand corner, you can select Download, which will allow you to get a CSV file of your Nominal Codes. Now, what I do, and you, Receipt Bank only requires the first column, so you can delete the other columns and you can delete the first two rows. So you only need this account name. And all of these are, are Numisma's nominal codes, which can then be imported. So save this. And then when we go to Receipt Bank, on the left menu, they have an option here called Lists. So by selecting More Lists and then selecting Categories, this is where you can import all of the nominal codes so you can add a new list via a csv and then you'd be able to select the file and upload it and what it will do is just create this so all of the nominal codes from Namisma will be accessible from within receipt bank so that's step one you've got all of your nominal codes in step two is to set up the zap in zapier so at the top here i've got zapier open and i've created a zap and i've called it receipt bank and Namisma. And within Zapier, for anyone that's not familiar, you have triggers and you have actions. So the trigger is something that happens on one software and the action is the result of that happening. So here I've got export receipts when they're ready in Receipt Bank. And it will export the receipt and all of the details and it will create a bill in the MISMA. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So by clicking into this, I can see each of the individual steps that I need to take to create this app. So I can choose an app and event. The first app is Receipt Bank that I've selected. The trigger event, it, we've chosen export receipts when ready, but you also have two other options as well. But we found from testing, export receipts when ready is the one that works best. So you, then we move on to choose accounts. So you're prompted to log in. If you're already logged into Zapier, it will use OAuth and it will just prompt you to allow access to Zapier from Receipt Bank. And then you can set up a trigger. So with the trigger, it asks you if you'd like to archive the receipts after they're published. So I choose true just so that I can keep organized on both platforms. And then you can choose your client filter. If you're an accountant, you'll be able to select this because you may have 100 accounts on your Receipt Bank account. Whereas in my scenario, I'm logged in as a small business, so I don't have that option. And then finally, you test the trigger. So it searches for a receipt, and then you'd just be able to select the receipt that you would like to use in this test scenario. So I'm choosing this example receipt. Click continue. And then once you've done that, it's time to set up the action. So exactly the same, we choose our app, choose our action event, choose an account, which prompts you to log in, and then you set up the action. And the first field is company name, where you actually select the company that you would like to send the receipts to. And then the rest is our supplier bill details. So we match the fields from Receipt Bank to fields in the MISMA. So this is the field in the MISMA. And then this is the field from Receipt Bank. And I've manually gone through and done this and selected these to put them into the fields. And I've matched them all up. Okay. And then once you've done that, you can test it. And you can see it was te I tested it seven minutes ago and it was successful. So now, once you're happy with that, you can turn on this app so that any time a receipt is processed on Receipt Bank, it will now be created within the Namisma account automatically. This is a one-time task. You won't have to set this up again. 
Okay, so when you go back to Receipt Bank now, you may have some receipts that are being processed. So in my scenario, I've still got 18 receipts. So I'm waiting for these to go through. I'm not sure how long this will take. I'm hoping it will be less than the nine hour um, time that's remaining. But let me pause here and then I'll come back once these are processed. Hi, welcome back. Uh, so a lot of the receipts have now been processed. I've got 10 in total. 10 are still in process and it was taking way too long. So I just decided to go ahead with the 10 that we have. So uh, all of these, they've all been categorized. They've all got suppliers and I'm just going to mark them as, oh, so if I go to to review, I can then move them to ready. So they're all in ready now. So they are essentially ready for export. Now, Within the MISMA, they may not come through straight away because Zafia takes roughly five minutes just to go through, pick all of the transactions up and then begin moving them. But if I now pull receipt, uh, Zafia over, I can go back and I can manually force it to run. So it will check instantly. So it's looking for new items. Is it found receipts? Looking for new receipts? Triggering on eight receipts. And it's, it's doing eight because I actually tested it with two and they already went through. So it's found eight new ones. It's created the bill successfully for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So they're all created. For the moment of truth, let's go to expenditure. There you go. So we've got the transactions. They've all begun coming through and it looks like there's there's five there, but there must have been a reason as to why the other three haven't. Uh, maybe they're in the previous year. Let's check. Nope. I've got a feeling that perhaps the, there was a validation check and they haven't come through. But uh, with your data, because it's real data, it should be fine. I may have a transaction that's in a previous year or something like that. But you can see all of the transactions they're now created. And if I was to view this, you can see all of the data has been pulled through from Receipt Bank. And now, now that this is set up, every time a receipt is uploaded to Receipt Bank, it will automatically be created into the system. And that, that's it. We're, we're planning to do a lot more with this. The next integration we're planning with Zapier is Dropbox, because we know many users use Dropbox as, a, as well as Google Drive and OneDrive. So for anyone that doesn't use Receipt Bank, very soon you'll be able to upload receipts to one of your uh, drive systems, and then it will automatically add the receipt to Numisma within the pending receipt section. And that will save you a lot of time. You won't have to use the mobile app anymore. That's great if your clients are uploading receipts in real time. But if they're not, if they're just sending them to you via email, you can drag and drop them into the folder. They'll add, then be added to Numisma automatically. That's it from us. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. If you need help with setup of Receipt Bank, our support team are available and we're more than happy to help. They're available um, support at namisma.co.uk or our phone number, which is 020-3021-2326. Thank you. And um, I hope this has been useful. If you need anything else, just get in touch. Take care. Bye.